The German Shorthair Pointer is one of the few breeds developed in Germany to be used as both a pointer and retriever of game. They are versatile hunters, being able to hunt on land or in water, even able to hunt upland bird or waterfowl. This breed is often used for pointing, tracking, retrieving, and watchdogging, as well as police and military work. They are one of the most popular breeds for hunting because of their stamina, intelligence, and obedience. The German Short Hair Pointer will not just be your loyal companion, but also your friend. Welcome to Smart Dog Lover. We are going to find out the top 12 things only German Short Hair Pointer owners know about their dogs. Don't forget to hit like if you haven't already. Also subscribe and turn on notifications for more contents like this that will help you know this dog breed better. Number 12. Great Energy If you want a smart dog who can accompany you on your outdoor adventures, the German Short Hair Pointer is the right dog for you. This medium-sized dog has boundless energy and can keep you going and going. While they do love to go outside and run, they are just as happy to curl up beside you or at your feet wherever you happen to be. He loves being around people which makes him a great companion. He is good with kids, but because of his size, he can easily knock over young children. If you have small children, he may not be the best pet for your family. He also gets along well with other pets, especially if trained from puppyhood. Number 11, Sharp Minds. The German Short Hair Pointer is very smart and will learn basic commands fairly quickly. However, he does have a mind of his own and can be stubborn at times. You will need to have patience with him during training sessions so neither one of you becomes frustrated with the process. If you're consistent in your training methods and let him know that you are the one in charge, he is more likely to obey your commands. Number 10. Brushing and Shedding The German Short Hair Pointer sheds a lot. The hair is distributed throughout the house carried by air currents and deposited on every available surface. Shedding is reduced by regular brushing, which also keeps the coat healthy and shiny. Most enjoy being brushed. You can find a good brush at your local pet's shop or online. A brush that will cost less than $10, while a professional grooming session will cost around $50. So it's better to buy your own brush than take your dog to a groomer every time they need to be brushed. Number 9. Highly Trainable these breeds can also be trained to do different tricks or commands if they were all well trained from the beginning. It is important to start training your dog as soon as possible so they can learn how to behave before they get used to doing bad things. Training should begin at about four weeks old and should continue about six months old when it is time for them to go into their adult coats. These dogs require very little maintenance in terms of grooming, but if you want them looking their best, then regular brushing and combing are necessary. Number 8. Velcro Breed So what makes a dog Velcro? Almost all dogs are social pack animals and therefore have a strong desire to be with human companions. The Velcro dog seems to take it at an extreme, however. They follow you around the house and watch your every move. As if that weren't enough, they also insist on being in your lap or touching you while you sit. These dogs may not be able to sleep comfortably unless they are touching you in some way. In some cases, this even includes pushing you out of the bed to get more room. There's nothing inherently wrong with this characteristic. Many people enjoy having their dogs glued to them at all times and enjoy being showered with affection at every opportunity. However, there's also people who prefer more independent dogs and don't like the constant contact. Number 7. The Pointer Pose German short hair pointer dogs are called pointer because of their pointer pose. They sit with one paw up in the air and his head, ears, and eyes focused on the prize. When a bird is seen or heard, 
the dog will put both paws on the ground and point the other way while looking at his handler. His handler then knows he must look in the direction to find the bird. They're called pointers because of their pointing pose. They stop and point their noses towards the location of the bird. German short hair pointers are a mix of hunting dogs and they have many characteristics of hounds and sporting dogs. Sporting dogs like this one are sometimes referred to as gun dogs, but that term does not apply to German short hair pointers who do not retrieve game. Number six, they need more rest. These dogs need a lot of rest because they're mostly active. The German short hair pointer is definitely one of the most special breeds. They're perfect for people who like to do a lot of activities, but do not need a lot of time to rest because they're mostly active. If you have this kind of dog, you will have to walk them every day and give them enough exercise. They will require more than two hours of vigorous activity per day. A long walk and playtime are recommended for this breed, but will need similar energy to recuperate. Number five, bigger fence. It is best if you have a large fence lot or if you can take these dogs on lots of walks. German short hair pointer dogs are very fond of roaming, which is an important consideration if you live in a rural area. They love to run and need lots of daily exercise, so be sure to give them plenty of opportunity to chase and retrieve balls. They're also natural hunters, so you should keep your birdcage well out of sight. If you leave the house to run an errand, your dog is likely to find something better to do and will wander away. A good fence is essential, since a German short hair pointer left outdoors without one will take off and may never be seen again. Number four. Early socialization is vital. German short hair pointer is one active dog that needs plenty of early socialization by taking them to crowded places like parks and on the streets. Obedience training should be gentle and consistent. German short hair pointers need a significant amount of exercise and mental stimulation. And if not given, they may vent their pent up energy in destructive ways. They also need to spend time with their owners frequently to enjoy separation anxiety. Socialization should be started at an early age as it helps the dog become well-rounded. Number three, separation anxiety. They're also well known for their separation anxiety. This is a common behavioral problem in which dogs become very anxious when they're separated from their owner. It mostly occurs when the dog is left at home alone and is usually exhibited by excessive barking and destructive behavior. They have a high attachment to their owners and don't do well when they're left alone. They should have plenty of interaction with humans and other dogs so they learn to cope with being alone. Dogs with separation anxiety often bark louder and excessively dig, scratch at doors, attempt to escape from their crate or room, chew on objects, and generally act out of control when left alone. They usually settle down within minutes of their owners returning home. Number two, extreme concentration. These dogs have extreme concentration. They can focus on you with a laser-like intensity, as if there's no other dog or human in the universe who matters as much as you do. The way to take advantage of this is to train your dog early to interact with and obey you in a variety of different situations, from the calm and quiet of your living room to the chaotic bustle of the dog park. This training will not only help your German short hair pointer develop a good relationship with you, but it will also help him learn how to behave himself around other dogs and humans, which will make him all the more welcome wherever he goes. Number one, their special color variation. German short hair pointers have normal hair with a special color variation that is rare. The color of these dogs are brown with the varying shades and may have white blotches on their fur. Their hair is short and smooth, which comes in different colors. They might also have tiny white specks on their fur. The base color of their hair 
is usually brown, hence the name Brown German Short Hair Pointer. Tell us your best experience with your German Short Hair Pointer in the comments section and let us know if it is recommendable to have one. Before we go, do make sure to like and subscribe so that you don't miss out on any dog related content from us. That's all folks, goodbye for now.